Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Nikki. Welcome to Nikki Verbal 111. Thank you for joining me for your collective reading. I hope this reading resonates. I hope that you all will have a good day today. We have the Ten of Wands. Um, got some really tough things bothering you right now. Maybe going through some hardship moments. Uh, could be financial, financial, financial. <laughs> But things are going to get better for you. Things are going to start looking up for you. There's a new change here coming for you, like starting over fresh. It's like, don't be sad. Okay. We have here the Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is, you're so bad you're, as far as feeling, you may be, be at rock bottom. Okay. This is the perfect opportunity for you to move on, for you to start what you finish, maybe find something brand new. to see clarity. You're going to be happy. There's something you are destined for happiness, but right now you're just going through, I'm hearing the thick of it. Okay. You're going through the thick of it. Hold on. I'm, sorry, I'm hearing a song. I'll stand by you. I'll stand by you. I will put that song in the comments for you, but it's like from night and day, you're going through a lot of stuff, a lot of hardship, things bogging you down, uh, worried about the bills, worried about your family, relationship, whatever it is you're worried about, it's going to get better, okay? From upset to being happy, uh, happily, ele excuse me, happily elevated. <clears throat> uh, hearing somebody's blood pressure may be slightly elevated, okay? Yeah, we got to practice moderation. If you're, if you're drinking or eating too much or smoking too much weed because you're stressed fuck out i get it but you got to practice some moderation okay i'm not telling you to stop and slow the f down slow down all right that's gonna make you feel better for a minute but when you sober back up about the, the problems are still going to be there all right so it comes this could be about a relationship as well and uh, i'm not working out right they're not fulfilling your desires or you're not fulfilling their desires. So it's like the best thing you can do is, is you know, move on. So you're, you're indecisive about this relationship and it's really bothering you. But however, it could be a bill. It could be a relationship. It could be whatever is holding you down right now. So it doesn't always have to be a relationship for whoever's watching, whatever is holding you down. OK, but I do see you want this relationship, but you're kind of maybe unsure where it is going with this person. You're possibly pregnant, even if you're not. Where did this relationship go? Can we take this relationship even further? Or should we just let it go? Okay. Or should we just let it go? You want to be happy, but maybe you're not happy with this person. This person possibly is not is um, not practicing moderation. You're probably seeing some patterns of drug abuse or alcoholism, and you just don't want to do it. Though so you love this person, uh, maybe you, you're thinking twice about giving this, or spending your life with this person. Because if you feel if you don't do something, it's going to, you're going to regret it. And I have to, the change. So I definitely see some changes here for you. You may make a decision to end the relationship with this person. Like I said, whether you're pregnant or not, whether you've been with this person or not, it's just not enough. You figure like, you know, we're not getting along. You know, it's this is a struggle to be in this relationship with you. And it's just not enough anymore. I have to think about my life and what I'm doing in the end okay what i'm focusing on this is the change it's an opportunity for you to move on with your life okay because i think if you don't you're going to regret it what are you holding on to this person for i'm, I'm hearing <clears throat> what are you holding on to this superficial relationship for all right that's who that's those of you who are are in a relationship but like i said it doesn't have to be a relationship it could be any kind of hardship that you're going through we got greed and we got um the fool here. So there's four of pentacles. You're holding on to this relationship because you don't want to be alone. Rather be alone than be unhappy. That's for sure. If they're not loving you, collect them. If, if they're not giving you what you need for this, in order for this relationship to thrive and God just thought this relationship is stagnant. Um, this relationship has run its course. All right. And you have to do what's best for you in the end. You may love him or you may love her. Okay. I can see that. I get that. But are you going to be happy? Do you see yourself being with this person two years from now, five years from now, 15, 20 years from now? Why are you holding on to him or her so tight? 
okay? Because you don't think there's nobody else that deserves you or you don't deserve anybody else out there. You got to think about that, okay? This is about you, your life, all right? You got to own up to your feelings and own up to your emotions. I'm going to get you a couple of advice cards. I'm going to close you out. What does the collective need to know about the situation? Synchronicities allow the magic to unfold as synchronistic events lead you in a new direction. Uh, you're possibly seeing 44 a lot. And also, this may be the, um, the reading that you need to help you make a decision about leaving somebody behind or leaving uh, an opportunity behind that no longer serves you. Okay. You're being asked to let go of all judgments and forgive those who judge you. Past life connections. You are currently healing past life wounds, and that's how you enter. That's how you internally know that this person is not for you, and you're not going for this kind of relationship or situation anymore because you've been through it in a past life, and it's constantly following you around until you get it right. Okay. We have here helping uh, helping with nature. You your soul yearns to be outside in nature, around the healing waters, flowers, and trees. Uh, go for a walk in the park, walk in your neighborhood, maybe walk a dog or something. I'm hearing and somebody maybe walks a cat, but you know. Um, your soul yearns to be outside in nature to go outside and, and feel that fresh prana and open up to what spirit has for you, like the messages and the downloads you're getting while you're out and about. Okay. And two, making sure you're taking your spiritual bath, uh, water, your Epsom salt, light your candles, whatever you put in there to help you relax, even listen to some meditation music while you're bathing. Heavenly helpers, your spiritual team is guiding you through this difficult situation. So you're not in it alone. Your spirit team and your angels and ancestors and loved ones on the other side, they're helping you get through what seems to be a very difficult decision for you to make. But ultimately, you've got to make that decision. Or are you going to regret it at some ways? Bottom of the deck, we got parting ways. It may be time to move on from, from a personal situation. And I hear that song, I'll Stand By You. So I put that song in the comments. Not Stand By Me by, by Benny King. It's I'll Stand I'll stand By You. You know that song. Okay? I hope this message resonates. Talk to you later.